Hello everyone. When I showed up to a restaurant, I decided to go back to my car and tell the app that I did not want to do this delivery. It's the first time I ever did that with DoorDash. You can do this. Don't feel bad if you do this. And let me tell you what happened that I actually, you know, took that action to do that. I would never do that to a restaurant or to my job. I, I, I got the order. I pulled up to a local pizza place. It was only a few towns away. This is very important to tell you. I was delivering on a Saturday night. And I haven't delivered on a Saturday night in a long time. And I felt the itch the other night, so I did it. And I took a three-hour time slot. So I know I'm going to be busy, and I took it during a time that I, I knew I was, I was cruising along. This was like my fifth or sixth delivery. I was really cruising along. It was a great night, and I took a good time slot. I go into the restaurant, and I'm like, hello, how are you? And it took a, a good three to four minutes for them to even acknowledge my presence, which they know who I am. I, I come in with the red bag. There were a few people at a table, a couple of tables, and there was a person online, and, but she was just waiting for her order. So it wasn't like it was exceptionally busy. So I can understand that. I, I'll give a restaurant 10 minutes on a Saturday night, but what I've learned that from this experience, I learned it from the other end. The kid, he seemed like he had a chip on his shoulder. I'm like, oh, he always has a chip on his shoulder. But this time he crossed the line. He, when he found out who I was picking up for, he takes out the pizza dough and starts making the pizza. It was a, a large pie with a couple of toppings and a couple of other items that needed to be cooked. That's key right there. He told me, he, he, I was like, oh, I sensed he didn't have the order like he even started. And I said, excuse me, is that the order I'm here to pick up that you're starting? And he looks at me and he goes, oh, I burnt the first pie, he mumbles. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. I went, you burnt the first pie? I said, so where's the other dishes? He was like, I hit the button by mistake. The button? Now, I know, I never knew this. The restaurant taps a button to inform DoorDash that the food is either almost ready, like half ready, or ready. Because then dashes would be sitting in restaurants for 15, 20 minutes at a time, every time, picking up orders. I don't get that kind of money to do that. I'm a delivery person. I expect within five minutes to have that food in my, you know, in my hands and walking to my car, and I feel that's the way it should be. They're not paying us the kind of money to wait around for 15, 20 minutes. So I look at him and I went, oh, I said, it's gonna take longer than 10 minutes. And he mumbled some wise crack answer uh, see, he said something wise to me, and I didn't care. I, I didn't choose to have him repeat it because I didn't care at that point. The customer laughed. She chuckled like, who the hell do you think you are, lady? I was like, oh, I'm not getting a good vibe here. So I said, okay, I'll be back. I'll be outside. So while I was walking back to my car, and I sat in my car, I said, I really don't want to wait for this order anymore. I don't want to serve. I don't want to deliver for this pizzeria. And it's not the first time I've waited there, but this time they, they crossed the line. So I went on the app and I never did this with DoorDash and I said, I don't want to deliver. And then a bunch of reasons, options, your choices, why? Why don't you want to deliver this? And I wrote, food not ready. Within a minute, I had another order. And then on the way home, I did an Uber order and one more DoorDash. I didn't want to get home late. I took a 3 to 9 o'clock slot. I figured, hey, I'll be home by 9.30 the latest. And I was home about 20, it was 22 after 9. So don't feel bad, especially, and that's very important, sharing the story with you. It was a Saturday night in their prime time. Of course I was going to get another order, and if not, another food app that I have on my phone, I can always swipe online and start driving home, I know I'm going to get rung. The odds of me not getting an order from where I was leaving to my home it was very unlikely. Of course I was going to get an order. So don't feel bad. That's what happened to me. 
that immediately I knew I would get an order. I wasn't waiting there. I could think them out. But now when I receive that order from that restaurant, I might decline now because I've waited there before. I've been very kind, very nice, and a long time. That on a Saturday night, I'm not waiting around 15, 20 minutes at a restaurant. You know, if they were paying me $15 for the hour, I would do it, but they're not. I, I need to just keep moving and do a lot of deliveries. That's what I need to do. If I, if I do two deliveries on a Saturday night, most likely I'm going to make a minimum of $16 in this market where I am. That's how I play it, or if I do three quick ones with short distance. So, I'm, I'm, don't feel bad. I thought it was worth sharing. I've belong, I belong to many Facebook groups, and they, many people have asked this question, what do I do in this situation? Well, I found out that if you know it's a busy night, go go to your car. Don't even tell the restaurant, because they, they don't have any respect for your time and what you're doing for them. You're being a reliable, dependable worker getting the job done, serving their food. It's increasing their sales. So don't feel bad. Let DoorDash learn that they're not doing the right thing. Let the restaurant deal with DoorDash. That's the way it should be. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.